Hey guys, and welcome to Home Lab Tech Support. I'm going to show you how to make a couple internal VLANs. I have to, well, I want to make a couple of internal VLANs for myself. I have to set up a new router, and I don't want it at my desk. I want to put it in the other room. But plugging it into my network would be detrimental, so I need to create an isolated VLAN all the way from the other room to my computer, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to get started in Unify because we have to make the VLANs there and in the Cisco switch in the rack. So let's go ahead and jump into that, and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to create the VLANs themselves. So this is pretty easy. We're going to go to the settings menu, and then we're going to go to networks and local networks. Uh, we're going to create a new network, and then we're going to go to create advanced network. The network purpose is going to be a VLAN only. Uh, we're going to name this Bench2. This is just what I want to name. You guys can literally name this anything you want it. You can label it Michael Jordan for all I care. The VLAN ID for this is going to be VLAN 11, and because I'm not doing multicast over this and I'm not doing DHCP on this network, I'm not going to bother with either of these two options, and we're going to click Done. And because I want another one, just in case uh, if I start doing something weird in the future, I have them, I've built them, I'm here, why not get it done with? And then I'm going to call this one Bench 3. I'm using Bench 2 and Bench 3 because I already have... Uh, a bench one network and that's used for the actual bench in in the shop which keeps everything isolated if i'm ever bringing a client's computer in so now both of those are created um, and if we quickly go over to the devices panel we can see that those vlans are now provisioning on the switches um, they would not provision on any other device except for a security gateway if you have that as well this will not be an interruptive process because um, we have not made um, changes that are going to affect the network so from here, um, the next thing that I need to do is I need to go and add this to my switch port profiles. Um, I have a profile called Trunk Native 100. This is because I wanted the untagged port to be VLAN 100 and not VLAN 1. VLAN 1 is reserved for other networking protocols. It doesn't actually transfer any data in my network. Someday I'll explain that. Now that I've added Bench uh, 2 and Bench 3 to my Trunk Native 100, I'm going to click Apply. The reason I needed to add those two to the, uh, that trunk native is because, well, that's one of the primary trunking profiles that I use. If I take a look at the switch at my desk, the port for my Mac is that trunk native 100, so I need those tagged VLANs to carry over to me. Um, and then the uplink between the two Ubiquiti switches on, is on the all profile, so that already has those. If I take a look at the switch that goes to the Cisco rack, I believe that's, yep, to the server rack over there, um, that also has trunk native 100, so that'll need that as well. And again, just by updating that, that, uh, that pulled that into there. So now that we have uh, VLAN 11 and 12 going through the Ubiquiti network, we need to go over to the Cisco network. Um, so I'll log into there. I'm sorry, Cisco switch. First thing I'm going to do is go to VLAN management and VLAN settings. We need to add these two VLANs to the VLAN table. So we'll add VLAN 11, bench 2 apply and VLAN 12 bench 3 apply close the done cool um, so now that the switch knows about those two VLANs now we can go over to port VLAN membership and I'm going to go down to the trunk port which is 52 and we're going to join this to the other two tag VLANs so select them Hit the over button and make sure that the radial is on tagged. We need those two tagged networks to go through this port. And then we'll just go ahead and click. Oh, no, nope, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the apply button. Definitely click the apply button. Uh, tag, apply, success, close. Okay, cool. So if we give this page a second to restart, so cool. Now those two networks are tagged on here. And now we have to make untagged ports so we can actually use uh, ports on the switch that we want to plug, well, I want to plug my temporary firewall into. So ports 5 and 6 I'm going to make into uh, bench 2 because I just want to have some available on there. Um, so I will go ahead and remove the network that was already there by clicking the left arrow, selecting my VLAN 11 and clicking the right arrow. Um, I believe this is already in a general port mode. What was it? Access port mode? Where... Uh, Crap, I can't scroll. Whatever, we'll come to back to that. All right, so I'll click apply here. Let me close that. I want to go take a look at that. Uh, GE5 is an access port, which means it cannot have tagged on there anyways. Uh, so let's do port six, join VLAN. Again, we're going to remove uh, VLAN one and we'll add VLAN 12. See, I, you can't even add a, a tagged port. 
So this is always going to be, unless you choose otherwise, an untagged port. Uh, apply, close, and uh, what is it? Ports 29 and 30. Uh, I want it to be in uh, VLAN 12, although I think I just screwed that up on port 6. <sighs> I'm talking too much. I just need to get through this. Yep, I screwed that up. Perfect! Okay, so now ports 5 and 6 are the 11 network, and ports, where to go, 29 and 30 are now on the um, 12 network, um, VLAN 12, sorry. Uh, so all of those should now traverse through the switch through my ubiquity stuff and all the way to the computer at my desk so now what i have to do is add actually i went ahead and cheated i'm sorry um let me do this let me remove this if you're on a mac and you have a ethernet adapter you can go on your network settings and your system preferences click on the gear here and click on manage uh, virtual interfaces uh, if you have a lock icon in the bottom left you'll have to type in your password for that Click on the plus icon and click on new VLAN, and uh, we're going to name this V11 Home Bench 2. Uh, we're going to add this to VLAN 11, and we'll click on create. Yes, I realized I said click. All right, so now that we clicked OK, it should show up. V11 home bench. So it's uh, it's going to be in the not connected state until you click apply, and at which point it should rocket up to the top of the list since it's connected. There we go, and look at that. So now it has the 192.168.1 uh, address from the PF sense box that we're about to configure. And I should now be able to go to my web browser and. Wouldn't you know it, I am now able to log into PFSense of the new firewall without affecting the rest of my network and having isolated access to it as if it was plugged into an ethernet adapter on my computer. Well, hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. This is Ryan from Home Lab Tech Support. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It's gonna let me know that you like these kind of videos that I'm putting out. I like doing them for you and I hope you like watching them. Take care and I'll see you guys at the next video.